Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Hitomi, Hit, Hitomi um, Machazuki, Machazuki, Hitomi Machazuki, Machazuki. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister for me and my mouth is not working for me today so excuse my mouth. <laughs> It just hasn't been working for me. I just, my mouth isn't going as quickly as my brain and it's not seeming to catch up. Let's see. We have the riddle. So somebody in um, Hitomi's life might be the gift of gab, I feel the riddle so can really speak well um maybe even fast maybe even confusing so and you know what they say about confusion when somebody that's usually a, a karmic <laughs> the judge so she's going to decide for herself about this person could be her twin flame with the mirror card here I don't know if you can see that very good. The mirror card, it's a broken mirror there. All right, and this is a love reading, so we'll be able to use my cards, the love cards for this. I got my new decks today, so, oh, you can see I got the archetype, which is this one here, the uh, diamond looking one, and that's kind of what it looks like, so. The prayer. So she may have been praying for somebody here. Maybe someone to come in. Didn't we say the twin flame with the mirror? And the flame came up. Look at that. Wow. And then we have um, Kairos. And that is favorable decision or action. So, hey. <laughs> All right. That's pretty awesome. So let's see. I want to get one more for her flame. So this is somebody and usually the first person is Hitomi. So this will be her future spouse over here. And let's see. I want one more for this. The cave. Oh, somebody might be in solitude in their man cave. <laughs> <laughs> and for all the um, people that uh, <laughs> know what the man cave is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's usually uh, time alone. So let's see. What do we have for love? Oh, so this somebody might be a chosen one here. <clears throat> Service. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, take a little sip here. Sorry guys, but it's not working for me. I feel good when I can help others. So I kind of feel like that might be her or chosen one here. We've got acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Very good, yes. And forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. That is so true so true since love is the highest frequency oh and you guys need to check out the collective read because on there the secret phrase is there and i'm giving you all another opportunity to write it in the comments of the collective um comment section the secret phrase and i will pick a winner from there so there weren't very many people that um, put it where they needed to put it. So in that collective read, in the comment section of that video, put the secret phrase in and on that video it tells you. And if, <clears throat> if you already know what the phrase is, you can just go into that video and type it in the comment section. And yeah, so gives you a free winning free reading and it'll win 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 so let's see we have change for this person so i feel like twin flame runner chaser 
you know, that kind of dynamic here. Having something favorable and really thinking about it, I feel that being in solitude in the man cave there. What did we have on this here? Ah, oh, the gift of gab. Okay. So, if this is a twin flame, they could maybe really talk to each other really well. And maybe she's gonna judge for herself. Maybe people are telling her that it should end it. Maybe it was something that she had to forgive. With the mirror, she, it was somebody that was mirroring her as well, right? With the twin flame and <laughs> the flames here. So, and then I feel like they may have both prayed for this and it's coming in. Let's see, what did we get? What do we get? Two more cards for the spouse, please. Oh, well, we got more than what we bargained for. Oh, honesty. Yeah, hello. Uh, lying never gets you anything except for karma. Huge karma. Always be truthful. <laughs> and have some humor. I chose to focus on the lighter side of life. Absolutely. There's enough people out there that's all stuffy and <laughs> so serious. <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah, see there might have been a bit of guilt here. I release any beliefs that no longer assist me in my soul's growth and I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. There was a bit of envy too. Hmm. Maybe they were envious of the wealth, maybe envious about the lifestyle. Hmm. Maybe envied other people. But it looks like they're letting that go. They're going to be honest. Expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect it from others but I can expect it from myself. That's very respectful. <laughs> and the humor, right? The lighter side of life, honesty and change, nice. So this person might be in that dark night of the souls, being in that cave. I wanted to get two more for her. Adversity, I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So there was some growth here. Something happened between these two. I bet they could really talk to each other too. Having that mirroring effect and that gift of gab. And forgiveness. So whatever happened here, somebody had guilt and envy. So looks like that runner chaser type of dynamic. So... This is the first reading for this person, so for Hitomi, I believe. Death, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So one door closes and another does open. And I do feel like maybe I should get one more for each side. Just because, to top that all off, I ah, regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So maybe it was her, maybe she decided to work on her career instead and left this person out in the cold. And this person now has gratitude after all the guilt and envy, the honesty and change to have the lighter side. They're thankful. Gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So it looks like this person might be getting another chance with Hitomi. So I don't know if she's got someone already or not, but her twin flame is here. So looks like it is her person because this is her future spouse we're looking at here. And what do we have for their acceptance is the what they have together here acceptance i am learning to accept the things i cannot change so she had that as well remember i got two decks so that's why it's coming up again so they're both 
starting to accept what they can't change, which change was on his side, or this person, her person, her spouse. So let's see here. Since this is a love reading, let's use the other cards. Now I got two decks of the love as well. Be authentic, absolutely. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. So don't hide how you feel. Definitely not. Be who you really are. Choose love. Ah, oh, you always have the choice. Make yours with love. Ah, oh, I like that. These are such beautiful cards. Like, look at that. Oh, you can see that, but it's so colorful and really beautiful. And have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So that's cool. Nice. So they're learning. There's some learning here happening, I feel, with each other. I love you. Oh. <laughs> they are powerful words. They are. Oh, that's so awesome. And it's a spiritual connection. This relationship has connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So this is a past life connection twin flame. Holy shit. That's a powerful, powerful connection. Love at first sight. And you can always pick who you fall in love with when it's a twin flame there's such a big pull you know so let's see what we got for this side here we'll get five cards as well please spirit Ooh, that's pretty colorful that looks interesting uh, okay I'm gonna keep this one out as part of their together energy Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have fundamental needs to take a break. I like it. And we have love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Absolutely. Keeps everybody on track where they need to be. What do we got here? Love endures, okay. So love does not give up or lose faith. Love is helpful and withstands every situation. Yep, it does. Do I have room to push that over? Maybe, no, not really. Mm -mm. Make a little bit of room here. I oh, messed up all my cards, but looks like I'm gonna a little. There we go. So we have have faith, trust faith in the situation. I think we had that one over there too. So they're both have faith. This says new love. So I kind of feel like this was a big lesson for these two. They were mirroring each other. So with the runner chaser, usually somebody, something ends and then they get back together and sometimes it's more than once that they, they kind of get back together. But sometimes it's just a friendship and it's not even love, you know, but this looks like it might be love. This does look like it's love, twin flame new love so i feel like this is going to feel like a new love all over again unless it's a twin flame that is just as a friendship that they have a purpose let's see what it says embrace any opportunity for love in your words or in your work prospects or for spiritual growth so like i said it could just be um regular uh, friendship, a love type friendship, you know, focus on love, look for the good in everyone. Yeah. 
And then we have practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. And maybe this person really needed to see that with this change, um, being honest, maybe there was a lie that happened here, or some, there was guilt over it, there was some envy even. So I almost feel like somebody might have been left out in the cold to pursue, um, for her told me to pursue her career. Now, maybe they just had a disagreement, doesn't mean they broke up. Maybe they talked it through with that riddle there, a gift of gab. Oh, might have been in love. So twin flame and it is love. So it's a choice in love. So let's see. Yeah, having maybe to put some boundaries up. So. Okay, what do we got? Wish fulfillment. Confusion or options. I feel like it was options. There might have been options for them in the sense of um, the option was career, I feel. You know what I mean? So these two were there, and I'm just gonna get rid of the rest. I've taken off the bottom one for that one as well. And I'm gonna take this out of there too. Acceptance was the one for there. Cause I, can't, I don't have enough room. <laughs> there we go. And this is the other one that had, there we go. Now we got it figured out. Mm, is that gonna fit? Oop. There we go. So we have a choice in love, the seven of wands, the nine of cups, seven of cups, the ten of pentacles. So, wow, and that's in the heart of the reading. And we have, so I really do feel like it had to do with money, having a career. So maybe she didn't have time for somebody here. Maybe somebody was upset about that. Maybe there was no work balance with family life, or um, maybe that's why that rest and relaxation came up as well. Having that time management to be able to have work life and home life, right? And time for somebody else, right? Having that time to be able to put into other people. It's a fine line when, <laughs> Trying to have somebody in your life when you're a creator is tough. I don't know what she does, but maybe, um, I don't know. Maybe she's an actress, singer. I feel acting more than anything. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but. I always look up their name, uh, how to pronounce it. <laughs> and that's how I knew how to pronounce her name. Machazuki, Machazuki, yeah. Let's see, we have lovers. So a choice, boundaries, wish fulfillment, lots of options, maybe not really, maybe just felt she was too young to tie herself down, wanted to do her career, right? And move forward, maybe felt it was a burden to have this king of cups here that loves her. There's some healing though, so looks like he's healed from the situation. Oh, marriage, hello. <laughs> well, since this is the future spouse, I'd hope to see this. <laughs> so let's see, let's clarify. Ooh, the emperor. Uh-huh, proposal, nah, yeah, <laughs> could be, let's see, what do we got? Ah, long-term love, I feel it's for a long-term, and what is, yeah, so having boundaries, so maybe there was some cute confusion about time, I feel like it has to do with time, maybe there was op other options as well. Maybe it felt good to have other people 
seeing her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that wish fulfillment. Somebody wanted to take a chance on that. There are other options. Knight of Cups wanted to give that love offer. Love the idea of love. What's this? Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, having a different perspective about this Ten of Pentacles. Maybe just feeling really good about having her own income. Having some whatever she does. Knight of Wands. Maybe there was a bit of here for a good time, not a long time, or very passionate about her, you know, and maybe it was a proposal with that eight of wands, and it also could be the object of envy, right, which did come up, so, very envious of her success, what's this ten of wands, knowing that other people were watching her, maybe, seeing her didn't like that having that courage to put down the burden which kind of makes me feel that she had the boundaries she put the boundaries up this is king of cups maybe there was two people maybe there was competition here and that's pretty much what he didn't like yeah having that different perspective oh that was that one, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, I saw that one already. <laughs> so we have the King of Cups and the King of Swords here. And, wow, walking away. Yep. Not taking that pentacle. Walking away. Wow. So there was healing. Let's see, what else? Oops. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Or being good all on her own. Yeah, a feeling of defeat here. So I feel there was some healing here. Feeling that defeat because of uh, having so much love for her with that Nine of Cups, you know. One in that Tenth Cup. Maybe wanted children or something else. Yeah, sees her as the Queen of Wands. Very beautiful. Has her own business, maybe. I don't know. But the Queen of Wands is usually a business. So maybe she's got her, maybe her line did really good. Maybe she's got a clothes, clothes line or likes fashion or, I don't know. But maybe as an entrepreneur. So, wow, I'm liking it. So what do we have for love messages from these two? Well, it's a lot of spirit, but we'll take them. We have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I think there was a love you on this side or on that side too. Yeah. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So I do feel the freedom card is what we were talking about, making her own living. I feel like that Ten of Pentacles, man, she's making her own money and she did really well for herself, whatever she's doing. But the Queen of Wands, that is having your own business, starting your own business, entrepreneur. Twin Flames. <laughs> Can we say it was twin flames with the flame and the mirror? Hello? <laughs> twin flame, baby. <laughs> Boom. Your passion ignites with this person. So Hitomi, your new spouse here or your twin flame here is passionate. Like, wow, a lot of passion here. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. Great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So it's not always um, rainbows and chocolate. <laughs> when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love so 
Yeah, I like this for Hitomi. Wow, and her future spouse. Let's find out when this might happen and what signs there might be regarding them. So in 11 months, I feel, let's see, let's see what else we get. Oh, 11 months. <laughs> Usually it would give me another number and it's between that time frame that it could happen, but it says in the 11th month, let's see, and a Sagittarius was one. Aries, who else? Cancer and Scorpio. So those are some of the signs that might be in her chart or her spouse's chart or within both of their charts. So I like this. This is beautiful. Ding, ding. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Give me that thumbs up if you like what's going on here. And if you like the readings, um, I appreciate all your support. If you want to donate, there's a PayPal account in the description card, description box below. Just hit the more card, or the more, it says more on there. And it pops down and you can see the links in there. I'm still working on a few things here. I'm trying to get my affiliates done so I can have um, some links down there to Amazon and a few other places. And then I have a wish list that I'm gonna have set up um, from Amazon for any tarot cards and stuff like that. I mean, I'm gonna get a store started and all that good stuff to give you guys stuff um, for that and I'm also really considering uh, the course on manifesting if everybody's kind of really wanting that um, I might have a course for that and I'm still thinking about um, having a monthly subscription for something but I don't really know what I would give you guys because extended readings I don't know I I'm too nosy I want to know right away <laughs> so I don't know if, uh, about extended so um, maybe it can be some bonus readings or something along those lines I don't know maybe um, I'll do a poll and we'll find out what y'all want to see if you want to have a membership um, there's badges and stuff I heard and it kind of gives that Oracle tribe uh, feel you know having a space having people that you can talk to in this space and having like-minded people that you can converse with so in any case all right stay blessed y'all okay take care later